Good morning, folks. Had a six-pointer strike near Papua New Guinea yesterday. More concerning seismic activity is anything over 4.0 on the Northeast Caribbean plate. So many people asking about the planets. Let's check out how we finish the year. Two days from now, Mercury heliocentrically conjoins Venus and the earthquake and solar flare watch begins. Sticking with heliocentricity, we are going to zoom out, get Saturn in the view here, tilt, zoom back in, turn off the orbits and the labels. You're going to see Mercury and Venus both conjoin Saturn by December 22nd. Geocentrically, Sarah supposes the Sun while you see Earth set to pass between Jupiter and Mercury here on the 18th. Earth passes between Venus and Jupiter a few days later, and then Ceres gets back in the mix as we approach the full moon on December 28th. Critical frequency update. Remember this measures the max frequency wave that can be skipped off this layer, but indirectly gives us an energy level of that layer. It's supposed to respond to the solar cycle, and it did back in 1999, coming up during the solar maximum, then back down at solar minimum, then losing any sense of normalcy and becoming a runaway train. Yikes. Europe is continuing to see the effects of that chilling arctic air sliding between the lows. Chop is getting dangerous as well as a storm surge has caused damage and at least one death in the North Sea. Look at that large low with little lows inside the big one. Satellite shows the overall counterclockwise motion with localized helical flows within. Last 24 hours precipitation and the coming watches. Southwest Pacific is primarily focused on Cyclone Evan, which has decided to head more south directly towards New Zealand. However, it should weaken first. Updates tomorrow. Here is a quick check of the thunderstorm warnings across the globe for today and tonight. In the United States, a giant low that took off across the states has stalled in the breadbasket and the lows pile up behind. Looking at the wind map, you can see how many different sources of air converge from their points of genesis. The back edge with a cold northern air sweeping down will see more winter weather today, and here is tonight's severe weather watch zone. Solar wind speed in yellow creeping slightly higher as density remains elevated in the orange. Even though this is not a special space weather event, this does count as significant space weather without significant space weather. We still don't see storm level disturbance or plasma penetration. But inductions of multiple frequencies are being produced. The solar energetic particle flux is on the rise again, ovation prime showing that near radiation storm level near the polar region. Eyes on the active region turning in towards Earth, the one over which many of you have been set alight. The leading spot might develop some more, but right now there is a calm magnetic balance that does not appear terribly dangerous yet. No eruptions on the Earth-facing disk, got a dark coronal hole down south that has already set its stream our way, set to hit in the next 24 hours. Eyes open. No fear, it's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.